Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am at the Emerald Creek booth and my new friend Suzanne <laughs> is going to do something wonderful. So we thought we'd film for you guys. Okay, Suzanne, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're doing the modern gilding powders. And okay. I'm a calligrapher, so I this this is a, a very fast way to gild something. So if you're a lettering person and you use embossing markers, it's a fabulous way to get color. Well, gold, gold Ooh, or silver isn't that beautiful on your paper instead of going through the uh, traditional gilding techniques. One of the things we really like is, can you see this? Let me this get is, up close here. This is, and I'll, I'll tilt it a little bit so you oh, can see, that's yes. the burnished silver on, with a, that's a rubber stamp. Oh my gosh, on that's gorgeous. On some foil cardstock. And then this is, uh, it, you can have a, a beaten copper look or you could have a smooth copper look depending on how much you heat it. And sometimes if it's on a double-sided adhesive, and this is a uh, scrapbook adhesives, black foam, uh, double-sided adhesive. Okay. And it's been die cut. And from the die cut, you put it straight on the paper and the adhesive pulls, pulls the shape, the die cut out of the dye so okay. that it doesn't warp or anything and then you just cover it with the gilding powder and I bet the voila. gilding powder would work on chipboard too wouldn't it? Oh absolutely it works yeah. on anything yes. yeah yeah okay so and we have some new colors and this is the uh, Celtic mint who isn't that beautiful? and it and it depends on the light. The light in here is not the it's best. It's a little but shadowy, but that, that's okay. I think I'm getting a pretty good picture. This die cut was white. So, oh, look, it's going over there. But it's a very pale green, and it's designed to go with our acanthus teal, which is a darker green. So we've got the Dilly Dilly Lavender coming with the dark purple. And we have the greens, light and dark. That is and we have um, uh, the pink. So there's the uh, dragonberry. There, can you see that? That is gorgeous. Here, I'll, I'm just gonna I'll kind of. Okay, yes. Tell yeah, there's a me. lot of shadows here. Yeah, but but you can kind of see it's. It's shiny, but it's such a beautiful color. I love that it's color. It's a pale, pale green. It's yes. uh, like a mint green. Yes. Yeah, beautiful color. Oh, and awesome. Yes, and and like I say, we have the the. Let's see if I have a sample here of the. Uh, I can't. This is the the dragonberry. So that's oh, the, oh that's, that's perfect the, against the white. That's perfect. Yes. That's the, the darker pink. Now we have a, a, a lighter pink coming. And okay. We just don't have it right And is this here. one where my pinky's pointing? Is that the purple that you were talking about right here? This is the Dilly Dilly Lavender. That's okay. New. And that really depends on the angle that you're looking it at. It really that. does. It's yeah. either silver or lavender. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. it's a beautiful lavender oh, color. Oh, And then our... our uh, Acanthus teal is this one here. Sorry, there's a lot of green in oh, there. Oh, yeah. A lot of uh, the, the gold. But, but that's so it beautiful. works on stamps. And uh, that's the background. This is kind of interesting. I had a, a lot of fun with this. So it's supposed to say hit and miss, but it says miss twice. <laughs> um, so I lettered it twice. And that was with an Ecoline marker. So it's quite wet, but it dries very quickly. But it leaves a puddle of wet in the middle. So I sprinkled it on here and I knew it wasn't going to cover the whole letter. I thought, we're going to try this anyway. So I heated this one from the bottom. And okay. so it makes this really nice gilding along the middle. And this one I heated from the top and I just love what that oh, did. Oh yeah, that is really So fun. it's just a whole different look. Yes, yes. So, and that's heated from the top and, and the uh, there wasn't enough wetness to hold a lot of the gilding powder on there, but uh, it made oh, a pretty, that's awesome. pretty nice effect. Yes. I love that. So, so Suzanne, yeah. where could I tell my viewers that they can find this? These are made by Emerald Creek 
uh -huh. and where we are. Yes. And uh, Kim is the chemist and puts these together for okay. me. Okay. And uh, you'll find them at fine retailers, and you'll find them at the Emerald Creek uh, um, uh, 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 website. Website. Thank you. Okay, Emerald yes. Creek website. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because I always like to put a link if I can. Yes. So they can just. Pop Perfect. right on there and yep. no, get and themselves now, some. I'm not sure the new ones are on their site yet, but they will be sure. soon. Sure, yeah. So a lot there of... are the original six and colors. So we okay. have the, the... Oh, the other new one is Platinum, Forever Platinum. And I'm not sure I have a sample here of that. And it is... Yeah, that's it. And it is not a silver and it's not a gold. It's kind of a warm silver. Yeah. It's a gorgeous color. Again, it changes colors as you yes, move it. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It's just gorgeous. Oh, so that's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, so that's one of the new ones. There's five, okay. six original so colors. That's gold, so burnished silver, um, copper scroll, acanthus teal, dragonberry. What am I forgetting? There's, there's six. Uh, but we have new ones coming out. So right. sort of, uh, a lot of them are the light versions of the darker colors. So oh, that we awesome. Can, yes. Yes. So it's very exciting. Thank you. So, thank you so well, much, Suzanne. It was fun visiting with you. It was nice visiting with you, too. And I hope you have a very good show. And hi to everybody <laughs> in your world. And thanks for visiting. Absolutely. Have thank look you. around what Kim has here today. Okay. Fabulous I, ideas. I so, will. Right. I will. Thank okay. you, Suzanne. Thanks, Bye, everyone. Bye.